Hey, it's Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit, and today I'm very excited because the Veroni lamp I created in my one of my recent videos, I'm about to add to my home automation setup, and I've not done this yet. I went to the WLED Home Assistant page, and I'm following through this, and I'll let you follow along with me. We'll see how this goes. So the Veroni lamp that I created is a WS, or I'm sorry, an ESP8266 based device. It uses a D1 Wemos chip. And what that means is, one, it was inexpensive to create, but two is the WLED library is natively supported by Home Assistant. And so that means if I get this in here, I'll be able to create RGB lights very simply by just hooking them up to these uh, cheap four or five dollar chips and control them in ways of like patterns and, and colors, hopefully. So let's see. So the first thing we're going to do is go to go to configuration integrations we're going to click the plus and then type wled there it is host ip address uh, i need to find that out real quick let's see if this has the configuration there's the ip here so i will put that here uh created config we found the following devices dili white area is in Amber's office. Finish. Experimental. I'm going to uh, click Configure UI. Add it. Light as a light. There it is. WLED. Oh, fancy. Um, we created it for my wife Amber for Valentine's Day, so we're gonna put it there. We'll leave the theme. Oh, let's see. Oh, I can dim it. Um, oh, okay. Uh, there's our brightness, and here's our effects. Oh, cool. Okay. That is handy. That means that we should be able to add some more stuff. Let's see. Now I'm kind of curious. So if we go back to configure UI and we say add. Do I get a, um, oh, estimated current, uptime, free memory. This one looks handy. Let's add this. Uh, let's see, what other, what was the other sensor? Free memory, that looks kind of cool. Uh, free memory, estimated current. And then if I close this, I've got this button here that is super cool having all sorts of control here okay well now we just have to take it to the next level so let's go to node red if really adding wled to home assistant is really straightforward the other thing is adding it to node red is just as easy so this is great news First thing we want to do, actually the automation we're going to build here is the concept of when the sun is risen, I want to turn the lamp on. And at 11 o'clock at night, I want to turn it off. I don't want to turn it off at sunset. And the reason I'm turning on when the sun is risen is it's my wife's lamp for when she's working. It's just kind of an ambient decoration for her. So to do this, we're going to use a thing called Big Timer, which is actually very cool to know about in Node Red. It's very, very powerful double click on it and um, just give it a name I'm just gonna call it time now the on time you see there's a ton of options here not only do we have all the hours at 15 minute intervals but we also have dawn dusk uh, some honestly I don't even know what some of these are but the one thing I did look up is sunrise and dawn dawn is when the light cracks over the sky and sunrise is when the top of the sun cracks over the sky. So sunrise actually happens after dawn. Sunrise will work for me and then 11.45, uh, turning off is 11.45 p.m. If you use 24 hour time, which is what this is, and you wanna understand it, just subtract 12 hours. And if you have to subtract 12, then it's p.m. If you don't, like if this was 11.45, that would mean a.m. So that's a quick thing on how 24 hour time works. But they use it here. So this is 11.45 p.m. I'm going to go with that. And what will happen is this will send a 1 if it's on or a 0 if it's off. You see three nodes here. The top one only happens when the event happens. So it'll only happen at sunrise or, or not. 
The middle one's great for developing and debugging because it happens every minute. So what we're gonna do, just to see how, how this works, we're gonna add a debug node, which is always handy. We'll connect it off the middle one. Now it's, of course, when it first connects, it will send an event. So I will deploy this. Oh, big timer's not, uh, right. So if you say sunrise, you have to know the latitude and actually have that ready here. This is a latitude longitude, so it knows where the sunrise is. That was the longitude, and this is the latitude. So that's important. All right, say done, deploy it. And there's our payload coming across on the debug node here. You see zero, that means that it's off. It also says it's off for six hours. Now it's 1 a.m. Sun rises in at 7 a.m., which would be in six hours. So it, it actually lets me know not only is it off, but when it will flip to on. Very handy. So now how do we use this to control our beautiful lamp that we have? Well, we need a switch. A switch will allow us to make a decision based on what gets handed in based on that one or that zero. So we're gonna connect this to our switch and we'll double click on the switch to configure it and we'll say sunset or 11 p.m. There we go, you wanna give it a good name so you can debug it later if you need to. The way switches work is every time you add something here, it will add a node on the output. So if I say this is zero, then see I get a little node here. Now, if I go down to add and I say one, you get a second node. And if you mouse over it, you'll see this one says one, this one says zero. So this fires when there's zero, this fires when there's one. So all we have to do now is turn the lamp all on and off. And the way we control Home Assistant is typically through the call service. So this is zero. I'm gonna say turn off lamp. The domain is light for this one because we're going to turn a light off and I'm just going to click down and fill this out. If I type WLED, it'll auto complete. There it is, light.wled. And we are done with that one. Turn off lamp. I'm going to copy it. Control C. See one node copied. Control V is pasted. We'll connect this node down here and we'll say turn on lamp. And, oh, <laughs> don't just update the description. Make sure you update the actual thing. Okay, and that should tell me if the lamp is on or off. Let's hit deploy. Let's see what we get here. Okay, good. So we got the zero debug message, which we expected, which means off. It hit the switch, and then it went to turn the lamp off. Now, there's no connection because the... Home Assistant didn't have time to basically handle this connection. There was no delay here. That typically happens when you first deploy a, um, a flow. But if you wait a minute, it will fire again and we should see this actually turn green. So I'm gonna pause this for a bit. Okay, so I waited a bit longer and let the next event fire. And you can see here that the light off was called successfully. The only other thing I'd probably change here is this is happening every minute, and so it's constantly firing the logic here and saying, you know, turn the lamp off, turn the lamp off. So the only thing I would probably do is convert this to the top node here. If I click here and hit delete, I don't have my, need my debug node, so I'll just delete that out. And what this does is this one only fires, make sure you deploy it, this one only fires when the event changes. So this will fire once in the morning and once at night instead of every minute. And that's it, everything's cleaned up now. So we've taken our 3D printed lamp, which we added RGB lights to in the last video, and now have added it to our home automation system, which is really, really cool. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.